Well, I did make it. It's the Goosebumps Festival here at Makassan Train Factory, a place not normally open to the public. I've only seen it through the eyes of Thai YouTubers and, of course, old photographs. It was built in 1910 and completely revolutionised the railway industry here in Thailand, all overseen, of course, by King Rama V. Well, for any self-respecting railway fan, this here is the absolute money shot, the vinegar stroke. It is fantastic. All these reconditioned steam engines and locomotives, it is impressive, I will say that. And I'm in absolute ecstasy. I'll probably cut this bit out because I'm slightly overexcited. If I turn this handle, this lever, does that mean that the 1435 from Makassan to Hualong Pong is now going to Bangsu. So far, this is my favourite. It's a Davenport 500. It's DE518. That's a serial number that would have been given to it by the State Railway of Thailand. It entered service in 1952 and was put out of service in 1987. They have refurbished it. Absolutely lovely it looks. Majestic is the word I'm looking for. Well, my earliest recollection of railways, I'm trying to think my first memory, was picking blackberries along the track at Crouch Hill Station, probably when I was about five or six years old, and we took those blackberries home and ate them. And of course, nowadays you can't do that, you get done for trespassing. As a young graffiti artist, walking tracks was quite a common thing to do. And I remember, I think it was Boxing Day 1987, Myself and four other graffiti artists, who are a lot better than me by the way, went to the train depot at High Barnet. And I tell you who it was, it was Sub 1, Shu 2, XL, and I think the other guy who came was Bus 1, or it could have been Cole. Anyway, they did a piece on the side of the tube. It took ages to do, and I was wandering around. And I went to get a sort of look around the corner of a train, see if there was any staff hanging around otherwise we would have got caught i remember standing on the live rail 700 volts it was and the current was so strong that when i touched the side of the train i could feel a tingling going through my hand even through the cheap shoes i used to wear back then so uh, there is a reason why they say don't play on the railway Just behind me over there, they have tarot card readers and fortune tellers. And if this was a year ago, I would have gone to a fortune teller and said, please tell me the future of Hualong Pong railway station because I've already made two videos claiming that it's going to be closing soon. And uh, I would have asked them, of course, when is it going to close? But as we know, it's not going to close. They are shifting all the long distance trains to Bangsu Grand Station around September, October and they're going to continue running commuter line trains from Hualampong for the next few years, so that's fantastic news. I think I know why this is called the Goosebumps Festival, because if you're a railway fan like me, you would get goosebumps coming to a place like this, although they haven't actually emerged just yet. I think train spotters are the ones who would go crazy for this kind of place. And there is a difference between railway fans and train spotters. Train spotters are the ones that stand on platforms collecting loco numbers as they go past. And I'm not sure exactly what happens when they've collected every number, but never mind. I remember when I was a kid, I was standing on the platform at Finsbury Park Station and there were some train spotters at the end. I tried to make a bit of casual conversation. It wasn't possible. They told me to piss off and called me a casual. And at the time I had my dad's old camera. It was one of those square boxes that you held down here and you had to look down the glass. And every time a high speed train came past, by the time I got around to taking the photograph, it was long gone.
Well, Makassan is the original home of the State Railway of Thailand, and I thought as we're here, it'd only be fair that I give you a crash course into the history of the State Railway of Thailand. It was founded in 1890 by King Rama V. It was part of his modernization initiative for Thailand. Seven years later, the first line opened between Bangkok and Ayutthaya. That went from a station just outside Hua Lompong. It was an old wooden building. And you may have seen the famous photograph of the foundation stone being laid right in that location in 1897. And there is a monument to mark that as well. 1903 saw another line open between Tonbury and Pechaburi. And by that time, there was 264 kilometers of track around the country, which of course would only increase as the years went on. Well, if you're not up on your history, Bangkok trams were running all over the city until 1967. They were slowly phased out because the plan was to eventually build an urban rail network, which didn't happen for almost 30 years, hence the increasing traffic problems in the late 60s and 70s and 80s. Anyway, I'm just admiring the wood panelling here. It's in incredibly good condition. And now I can tick a box and say that I've been in a Bangkok tram. Well, I don't know much about diesel locomotives here in Thailand or anywhere for that matter, but what I do know is that this Davenport 527 was once thundering up and down the railway tracks all over Thailand, and now it's been painted up into something pretty spectacular looking, and as expected, it's been very popular for photos. Forget Paradox, live on stage. It's in here where the party's at. As you can hear, that's Paradox live on stage just behind me there, and I like the sound of that. If anyone can recommend their most popular songs, leave the links in the comments. If there was one steam engine I had to nominate for restoration in the whole place, of all the steam engines I've seen today, it would be this one. A fine specimen, a contraption, a mechanism of moving parts and wheels that probably haven't moved for at least 40 years. This would look great, restored and repainted in a museum. Anyway, it probably won't happen. Just over the wall here, behind the locomotive, is Makassan Railway Station. And if you remember the ghost story I told you in the video I did with Global Travel Mate about the old station building, it was abandoned because it was haunted by a guy who burnt to death. I could actually ask one of the State Railway of Thailand employees around here if they could verify that story. That would be interesting.
getting up close and personal to these trains here makes you realise just how huge and dangerous they are. I mean, if you're caught on a railway track with nowhere to run, these things cannot put the brakes on and stop in time. I remember when I was doing graffiti when I was younger, there was a case where a graffiti artist got killed by a tube train and he used to write a tag called Evil. I remember that really clearly because it sent shockwaves through the graffiti community in London at the time. And there was a case, I think, last year in South West London where a couple of graffiti artists got killed as well. Well, it is the last day of the Goosebumps Festival and I'm wondering, does that mean that they're going to be selling the food off at half price? I'll have a look in a minute. Anyway, from the Wheels of Steel, different Wheels of Steel than the ones I used to play on when I was a DJ, I'm going to bid you farewell. It's been fun, interesting and educational here today and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe to the channel and you haven't already done so, please do like, share and comment. And if you want to make a donation, support the channel, there's a buy me a coffee link either on the screen or down below. In the meantime, that just leaves me to say thank you very much and until the next video, I will see you soon.